Well, you know, if spending a little quality time with your sweetheart is on your to-do list today, then add to the moment with an amazing cocktail. We brought in the best to show you how to whip one up, the Diageo world-class U.S. ambassador, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ricky Gomez. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me, and no. happy Valentine's happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you, Thank too. you so much. I Thank am you. so excited about this. You've got a couple of cocktails yes, that you're going to create, but this one is called... Flaming love. Yes, the flame of love. Flame of love. The flame of love. Mm. It, it's kind of a classic cocktail. And, it is. And I think kind of classics are, are very good to start off with. So, okay. So this cocktail was very uh, popular with Dean Martin, actually. Really? Dean Martin, he wanted a signature cocktail, and he had his local barman in Los Angeles create this cocktail for him. Wow. Well, and let's whip it up. Yes. So it is a little bit of a twist on the martini. You know, the okay. martini was popular during that time with the Rat Pack. Yes. So we're going to start off with Kettle One Vodka. Kettle One. Now, that, that's a nice smooth vodka. So I like Kettle if One a lot. If you're doing a martini, that's probably a good choice of vodka. Absolutely. Mix, I mean, right? Kettle One, the family's still involved completely with the production of it. And really? I've been lucky enough to go to Sheetham and see where they actually make it. Wow. And it's really still handcrafted. What do you have So in here, here, a typical martini will go for dry vermouth, but instead, we're actually going to use a dry sherry. A dry sherry? Okay. So it's, that'll be a little bit of difference. Okay. And this is where a little bit of our love, our flame comes in. So we have a couple of orange peels, which we peeled off an orange mm -hmm. with just a typical vegetable peeler. Okay. And then, like, you just pinch it, and if you put out your hand, you can see the oils just, they just squeeze on top of smell yeah. your hand. It smells like an orange. <laughs> So that's, that's where, amazing. so that's where all that flavor is going to be. So we're going to take three orange peels and put all that oil into the Ooh. cocktail to really, really open it up and like give an, it a lot of like flavor to it. Like an infusion here, Exactly. Right? So okay. it's an instant infusion right. uh, to an extent. So we have about a minute and a half. And I know we have another cocktail right. to make. So I just want to give right. you a heads up. Absolutely. Well, cocktails take love. Well, especially flaming love cocktails. Right. So we're going to stir this cocktail, give it a nice little chill quickly. Shake or stirred, not shaken. Yes. Okay. So typical martinis are stirred. That's why James Bond shaken, not stirred. That was the, the way that people. It was the faux pas to shake your martinis. Oh. Since James Bond shaken, not stirred. <laughs> so that'll be our classic flame of love, and we're gonna do one more orange zest right on top, nice and easy. Just add a little more. A little bit more zest right on top so that it's, it'll smell nice and beautiful for you. So it's and not really flaming. No. Okay. Well, right. we, wanted, we wanted to keep it. It'd be in. tough to drink yes. that way anyway. Okay. <laughs> and then next we have another infusion, but this actually took a little bit of time. So we actually took Don Julio Reposado tequila, really amazing tequila, and just infused it with strawberries. Ooh. So you just take it, put it in a, in a dark place, four to six weeks, and you can see how some of the color kind of came out. And that's when you can tell it's kind of really? ready. You don't keep it in a refrigerator? No, no, oh. just keep it out at room temperature, and that helps the infusion. I so didn't know that. We're just going to take some of our infusion. Ooh, I just love the combination here of the orange zest for one cocktail and the strawberry Strawberries, infusion the yeah, next. so these are all great and this flavors. And is, this is sipping, right? This is one of those kind of, you know, take Absolutely. your time. Right, enjoy, enjoy the conversation, it. enjoy your company. Right. I mean, cocktails are really amazing on their own, but I think the people around you is what really makes the cocktail special. Excellent. Oh, my gosh, it smells amazing. We're going to put a little bit of spice. So this is Angostura bitters. We just have a little bit of those uh, warm baking spices, cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, kind of those warming spices. If it is, happens to be a very cold day where you're spending with your Valentine next to a fireplace, wow. those warm spices. Okay, I'm going to let you go ahead and pour that up. And in the meantime, if you want some more information, here's where you go. You know what? You can find Don Julio and Kettle One. They're available at most Valley grocery stores and spirits retailers. And if you want more recipes, you can go to the bar. Dot com. And what are you adding there? A little bit of bubbles on top. It wouldn't oh. be Valentine's Day without some bubbles. Oh, my goodness. Well, cheers, my friend. All right. Happy Valentine's Day. Cheers.